Hey, what's up guys? Jay here from JTMFit.com. Today I have a killer upper body dumbbell workout for you. All you're going to need are a couple pairs of dumbbells and a workout mat to get after this one. Let's go. Before we get into the workout, we're going to start off with a five exercise body weight only warm up. 30 seconds of each exercise. Let's get into that first exercise, which is going to be the walkouts. We start off walking out to the high plank position, squeeze the core, walk it back up, stand tall, squeeze the glutes at the top, and we go into our next rep. So make sure you own that high plank position, squeeze the core, make sure those shoulders are directly over the wrists, just nice and steady, getting things fired up. 10 seconds. Let's get one more rep in. And time, good. Second exercise, we have a body weight shoulder press. So you're gonna act as if you have dumbbells in your hands. We're gonna engage the glutes. We're gonna squeeze the core, keep the ribs pulled down, and we're gonna press. Here we go. So getting those shoulders fired up, working them through a full range of motion. Keep that core turned on, keep those ribs pulled down. We have 10 seconds. Three, two, and one time. So we're gonna bring it down to the ground now. We have a spider lunge T-frame. So we're gonna start off in the high plank position. One foot will be close to the hand. We'll open up, and then we'll switch sides, like so. Start in three, two, one. Spider lunge T-frame, here we go. Really try to open up as much as you can through the thoracic spine and the chest on that T-frame. We're just opening up the hips and also firing up the core with those spider lunges. We've got 10 seconds. Let's get one more rep. And time, good. Next up. Jumping jacks, so the basic jumping jack. We're gonna start feet together. We're gonna go through a full range of motion, so jumping the feet out, bringing the hands all the way up, and then bringing them back in simultaneously. So we start, here we go, 30 seconds. Stay light on your feet. Working those shoulders through full range of motion, bringing them all the way up overhead. Getting the heart rate up. Five seconds. And time. So one more exercise. Bring it back down to our mat. We have shoulder taps. So we'll get into a high plank position. Keeping the core braced. Three, two, one. Here we go. So the shoulder tap, we're firing up the shoulders, chest, triceps and core, we want to minimize the shifting of the hips as much as we can. So really lock the core in to mitigate that shifting side to side. Just nice and steady. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, and one time. All right, guys, we have seven different exercises. We're gonna perform each exercise for 30 seconds followed by a 15 second break. As soon as we finish that final exercise, we're gonna rest 45 seconds and we're gonna repeat this for three total sets. For reference, I'm using 25s for the shoulder presses and 35s for the back and chest exercises. So we're gonna start in 10 seconds with a neutral grip shoulder press so we're going to keep our core brace tight the entire time. Keep the glutes engaged. Three, two, one. Let's go. So breathe out the top. Move with control. Really important, keep those glutes turned on the entire time and keep that core engaged. Keep those ribs pulled down. 10 seconds, come on. And rest. 
So next exercise, staying with the shoulder press theme, we have a single arm push press. So we're gonna utilize our legs a little bit to dip and drive that weight up. We're gonna be pressing one weight at a time. Here we go. So quick dip and drive up. So be explosive with that lower body. It's not a squat and then a press. It's a quick dip and then drive that weight up with the legs. Still keeping the glutes engaged, core engaged, and ribs pulled down on that press. Now, we have a bent over row. So I'm gonna grab my heavier dumbbells, bent over rows. Really important to keep our back nice and straight. Here we go. So feet right under the hips, back and hamstrings engaged. And you roll the dumbbells up, keep them nice and tight to the body. Nice and steady. 10 seconds. Squeeze the lats on every rep. Good, next exercise, we have a kickstand single arm row. So we're gonna be here. You can place the arm on the leg or you can have it off for a little extra instability. Single arm rows. Here we go. Elbow nice and tight to the body. Squeeze the lat on each rep. So we're gonna switch sides. We're at about the 15 second mark. So let's get one more rep. Good, we switch right away, right into that other side. Elbow nice and tight to the body. Squeeze the lat. Good, next up, we have a floor press. Bring it down to the ground. Two dumbbells here. We're gonna be here, feet on the ground, lowering down with control like so. Here we go. Just keep those elbows right about a 45 degree angle. I want you lowering with control until that forearm, not forearm, <laughs> until the tricep and the elbow lightly touches the floor. So don't just bounce off the ground. Just nice and controlled, light touch to the ground. Squeeze the chest at the top. Nice. All right, so we bring it up. We have explosive push-ups. I'll show you guys how to modify if needed. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go, lower down with control, explode up. Go slow, lower, explode up through the chest. If you need to modify, you can do regular push-ups. You can also do explosive push-ups from the knees. So it's up to you. And time. So last exercise of the circuit, Hollow body skull crushers. So grab one dumbbell, hold it like so. We're gonna be here. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's get it. So keep your lower back pinned to the ground. Flex your quads, point your toes. We're just gonna hinge at the elbow. Flex those triceps at the top. Really important. Keep that lower back pinned. If you need to modify the hollow body, bend the knees. And time, good. All right, guys. We have a rest here, 45 seconds. Grab a little water, grab a towel. Don't go far.
All right, we start back up in 10 seconds. Going back to that neutral grip shoulder press. Take a deep breath. Brace the core. Squeeze the glutes. Keep those ribs pulled down. Just nice and controlled. Form is the most important thing. Keep those glutes turned on. Brace the core. Keep those ribs pulled down as best as you can. Arms are gonna be feeling it. Woo. And time, good. So we've that single arm push press coming up. Take those arms out. Let's get ready for this. Be powerful with that lower body. Two, one, let's get to work. So drive up. Feel the form starting to go. Take a second. My shoulders are blasted. I don't want to have sloppy form. Take a little breather and then come back to it. And rest, good. Now, we have that bent over row. So we grab our heavier pair. We get ready. Elbow is nice and tight to the body on those rows. Here we go. Back nice and flat. Hamstrings engaged. Core braced. Squeeze the lats on each rep. Let's keep it moving. 10 seconds. Nice and steady. Good, we got single arm split stance row. Remember we're switching sides halfway through. Here we go, five seconds. Get into position. Here we go, elbow tight to the body. Squeeze the lats. Nice control on each rep. Quickly switch sides. We hit that other side. Keep it going. Five seconds, come on. Nice. We're down to that floor press. So let's go, let's get ready. Remember, nice control on every single rep. Let's get this, guys, come on. Arms at a 45, or elbows at a 45. Going down with control. So the triceps lightly touch, and then squeeze the chest at the top. All right, we're up for those explosive push-ups. Now we're gonna be taxed, so modify as needed. All right, make sure form is the most important thing here. So your form starts to go, take a rest, and then get back to it. Just remember, nice and slow on the way down. Take a little rest. Form I knew was about to start going. Shake it out a little bit, then come back to it with good technique. All by skull crushers. So we grab that lighter dumbbell or heavier, it's up to you. When we come down, we get ready. Finish off those triceps and core. Let's go. So lower back pinned. Flex those triceps at the top. Point those toes. Flex the quads. Ooh. 
And rest. 45 second rest. Round number two done. Grab some water, grab a towel. Don't go far, we have one more set. We're gonna finish this off strong. All right, we're getting ready, 10 seconds. We're back to that shoulder press. Whew. Come on, last set. Let's finish off strong. Here we go, core tight. Whew. Press up. Whew. Whew. Never form, it's the most important thing. Keep those glutes turned on, core braced. Whew. Shake it out if you need to. Here we go. Nice. Okay, we have the single arm push press coming up. Shoulders are taxed. Use those legs to drive that weight up. Let's get it. Here we go. Shoulders, <laughs> let's go. We got 10 seconds. Time, nice. Bent over rows. Let's keep it moving, come on. Almost there. Five seconds. Bent over row position. Squeezing those lats. Strong back. Strong hamstrings. Ten seconds. Come on. Nice. Split stance rows. So single arm rows. Ha! Switching sides halfway. Let's get ready. And we roll. Come on. Use those lats to row. Try not to just pull with your arms. Use the lats. Switch sides. Nice, floor presses, almost there. We got three more exercises. Perfect technique throughout. Let's keep that up guys. Let's get ready. And floor press. Lowering with control. Squeezing the chest at the top. <clears throat> Keep it going, almost there. Five seconds, come on. Ah. There we go. Two more left. Back to those explosive push-ups. Remember, modify as needed. Take breaks as needed. Make sure your technique is on point. Let's get this. Let's go. Take it out, needed. Come on. Yelling at myself here. Let's go, Jay. Let's go, team. Come on. Three seconds. Let's get one more. Nice. 
Hollow body skull crushers for the finish. Let's go. Hold this. Finish off those triceps. Let's go. Here we are. Come on, 10 seconds. Keep working, guys. Ah, all right, there we go, guys. Killer upper body circuit. You don't need a ton of weight to get in a great workout with this. Heart rate's flying. We torched a ton of calories. We got a good pump going. So if you guys like this workout, make sure to leave a like, share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.